of Living Water Pentecostal Church of God in Santa Elena are tonight traumatized by a fatal accident on Wednesday night that claimed the life of one of the church members. The fragments from the shattered headlights and the damaged metal gate remain unseen as the telltale signs of the tragic accident. Just after 7 p.m., following the evening mass, members of the congregation gathered in front of the church but within the confines of the fence yard. Moments later, a pickup would come crashing through the gate of the fence and crushing 38-year-old Myra Carbajal, pinning her to the ground. Police arrived at the area where um, they saw a vehicle parked in the walkway of the church um, close to the building. In front of it was a female with injuries to her left side of her hip and others with minor injuries due to the fact that it is believed that the vehicle um, somehow moved from his park from the parking position and run into the gate of the church um, towards the where people were, were gathered and as a result several persons were injured when the gate dropped on top of them and the female by the name of Myra Carvajal was somewhat underneath the vehicle with the hip injuries and so forth. Church members hurried to their aid and had to manually pull the vehicle off Carbajal before rushing her to the San Ignacio Community Hospital where she succumbed while receiving treatment. Crystal Norales was one who came to her aid. Um, we saw a lady lying on the floor from there, um, on the ground, sorry, and three kids. And um, the gate, some of the guys had the manpower enough to pull the gate out and throw it on the road and the vehicle was stopped back there. And uh, we tried our best to do everything to get the woman to the hospital. Um, we do not know, honestly, what happened with the vehicle because the vehicle was parked right there and she was about to go home because the driver lived at Hillview. And the vehicle just take a twirl on its own and end up into the church. Now, talk to us about what you saw as the condition, condition that the lady was, was in. It was really horrible. Honestly, she lost a lot of blood. She spoke to us, honestly, but there was not much that she was saying. Apart from she's, she's hurt, she's hurt. That's as much as I know. It was really horrible that everyone was yelling, we need help, we need help. You understand that part of her was pinned under the vehicle? Yes, she was stuck under the vehicle, but when I reach out here, um, the guys already pushed the vehicle off of her, and um, the gate, like I said, was on the road. But she was stuck under the vehicle. You understand that several kids, minors, were also injured? Yes, there were um, four kids got really injured, and the others just got a little bit bru cuts and bruises, but they're okay. Frightening experience, would you say? Yes, it was. Very frightening. Some of the kids are actually still traumatized and trembling after what happened last night. Inside the vehicle at the time of the incident was another church member, 37-year-old Sharon Rojas. She reportedly got into the vehicle along with several children, and the police are investigating whether the incident was a freak or traffic accident. We are trying to establish what actually transpired. The driver of the vehicle at the moment is saying that, yes, I was behind the steering wheel, but I did not start the engine. We have people who were around, church members who are saying, yes, I heard when the engine was started and suddenly the vehicle just moved off, knocking the gate and running into the crowd, right? So there's something that we're trying to establish what actually transpired last night. Uh, from your, in your expert opinion, uh, would speed have to be involved uh, to have caused the damage that it did? Not necessarily. Um, if the vehicle did move off, and it, as a matter of fact, it shows that it did move because the gate was actually removed from his position, right? The vehicle traveled at least 20, 20 feet towards the church, the entrance of the church. But what caused the injury on Ms. Carvajal was that after the impact, she was somewhat um, trapped between the building and the vehicle itself. Dwayne Moody for News 5.